Welcome back to Good Day. So we're all under it once in a while. Some of us deal with it better than others, but sometimes we do need help. And that's okay. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and today Sarah Barron of the Thomas W. Werner Center has some ideas on stress and how to deal with it. I think, yeah, there's always that time. Um, this month in particular, I think for me, I was like, I got a lot going on this month. You know, it's a we got graduation seasons, we've got this, we've got that. You know, there's a lot going on, but um, so but stress is a very real thing for everybody. It is. It is. Um, so stress is something that everybody faces um, in one way or another, and how we deal with it uh, can really impact our, our day to day lives. You know, are we feeling successful in our lives? Are we happy? Are we struggling? Is it hard to get through the day? Uh, so stress really has an effect on everything, everything that we do, that we think about, that we say. So it is important to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Sarah, stress and how we respond to it uh, you guys have broken it down into several categories of like how people respond because everyone responds differently uh, so what are some of those categories of response to stress yeah so some ways that people respond to stress um, most people have heard the fight flight freeze mm -hmm. um, so now they've got fawn and face that they've added okay um, so if we're thinking about fighting so um, innately our our human um, nature is to defend ourselves mm -hmm. um, so our body are designed as if we were being attacked by a bear so that's how we respond to stress you know we've got this this big um, this big thing in front of us that is threatening our safety mm -hmm. um, so with fight you're going to attack you're going to confront mm -hmm. um, with the flight then it's about running and hiding um, freezing is about kind of complying surrendering just like totally freezing and then fawning is kind of giving in and people pleasing mm -hmm. so if we think about um, you know way back when um, you know when we needed to survive animals Mm -hmm. and forage for our food. These could be really helpful responses. Uh, but nowadays, when we can just go to the grocery store for our food and we're not going to be attacked by <laughs> an to animal. Fight a bear. <laughs> exactly. Um, so our body is wanting to respond in the same way, uh, but it's, it comes out very differently. And we might struggle with, um, you know, having overwhelming emotions as a response. Mm -hmm. So being really angry, being really irritable um, with that fawning, it'll be like uh, people pleasing. And so those aren't healthy for us either. Mm -hmm. So so it's important to identify to kind of what your go-to stress response is so then you can help yourself uh, through these moments. So I know for me, I tend to be a fighter. So mm -hmm. if I'm feeling really stressed and I can get really defensive, I can get really irritable. And so knowing that about myself will help me respond when I'm starting to feel that stress. That's a really good point because I look at these categories and I'm like, oh, I don't know which one I am, I'm a little bit, you know, but it's important that we do identify that and, you know, know that about ourselves so that we could, you know, face it. Maybe face is the way we need to yes. handle this. Yeah, so ultimately you want to be able to face it. So face it in a healthy way. Recognize, okay, this is happening in my life right now. I'm feeling really stressed. I'm feeling something in my body. I might be lashing out at people. But with facing, you're going to recognize it and you're going to stay in a grounded, calm way and say like, okay, so this is what's happening. This is how I can get through it. This is the help that I might need from someone. You know, say, um, you know, housework is a big thing that can be really stressful it's piling up to facing okay I'm overwhelmed right now I need some help who can I ask to to help me um, you know or kind of whatever that challenge might be that you're facing yeah and, you know Sarah when it comes to trying to identify where we fall in these categories Amanda just said it she's like I, I don't know where I fall so it takes time to really unpack to see why we respond to certain things so how can a person get to a point where they're understanding who they are and why they respond the way that they that they do yeah, so that's a really great point that this is something that takes time and uh, just a lot of kind of looking internally. Mm -hmm. uh, so some, some ways that people can start doing that is just journaling, you know, journaling about how are you feeling, what's going on in your life, um, to kind of just look inside. Um, talking to a friend, um, I'm always going to promote therapy. Uh, my therapist has been a huge support for me in helping figure out, you know, kind of what is my response and how do I best help myself through that. Um, you know, some other other ways are just connecting with other people, um, figuring out kind of what your needs are and how others can help you. Self-awareness yeah. is, is huge. And like you said, you know, talking to a therapist because that's going to be someone you know, who doesn't have a bias, who doesn't, isn't going to, you know, try to push you one way or another, but is really there to truly support mm -hmm. you and help you identify ways that 
you can, uh, you know, attack stress and, and all those good things. And you know, Sarah, sometimes with, with therapy, counseling, uh, this subject may be not as taboo as it was uh, pre-COVID, right? But mm -hmm. there's still some apprehension with some to seek therapy, so you do suggest mm -hmm. that. But the, are there other ways uh, that people can uh, cope and deal with their stress? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one way, so I work with the Thomas M. Warner Center, uh, so we are a peer-led recovery center. Uh, so we're just a place that people can come if they have um, live in Lucas County, are over the age of 18, and have a mental health diagnosis already. They can come and be around uh, like-minded individuals who are often going through the same things. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're struggling with your mental health, it can be it can feel very lonely. And so finding a community that can support you can be a really great way to learn uh, techniques to deal with stress, to to kind of um, find that support to to kind of get through life. And I, and I love some of your suggestions too about journaling, things like that. Um, you know, just important that we take care of ourselves mm -hmm. and that could be, you know, making sure we get up and we get moving, we mm -hmm. get sleep, we're drinking enough water, you know, all of these things that, you know, sometimes that gets put by the wayside, mm -hmm. especially when we're in a situation where we're stressed out. I've got too much to do and then you don't take care of yourself properly. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, like you said, you encourage people to talk to someone, mm -hmm. so seek that. Uh, and you know, uh, mm -hmm. still maybe uh, ones right now, they're still mm -hmm. apprehensive. Uh, so what would you say, just uh, quickly before we let you go, why is that so important to talk to someone? Because when you talk to someone, then you you let what's going on inside out and you share that. Um, and being able to share that internal experience is a, is a huge step towards healing and towards um, having control over your life. When you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed, you can often feel out of control and sharing that with somebody else can can help bring some control back into it help you feel not alone mm -hmm. um, you know kind of work in a community that's what um, you know I was talking like internally like na naturally we're designed to to um, have that stress response to fight mm -hmm. flight free we're also designed to be in a community together mm -hmm. we're designed to um, you know they say it takes a village and it really mm -hmm. does um, it really does take a village very good Sarah great points uh, today we appreciate it as you know it is mental health awareness month and we you know, we want to do our part here and hopefully, um, you know, that encourages someone. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Thanks so much. Thanks, Sarah. Yep. Really absolutely. Thank you.